Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victor consents to Jack assisting Nikki. Daniel and Devon were involved in a tense encounter at Crimson Lights. Devon inquired whether Daniel had disclosed his relationship with Heather to Lily. Daniel kindly reminded Devon of his decision to withhold the news until Lily had fully emotionally prepared herself to receive it. Devon responded, so the plan is just to keep cheating on her until that time comes? Daniel defended himself by stating that until he spoke with Lily, he and Heather had placed the situation on hold. Devon levied allegations against Daniel, contending that he was deceiving Lily by accompanying her to Heather during her sojourn across the nation. Daniel insisted that he continued to provide Lily with support while she was absent providing solace to her daughter. Devon lamented that maintaining Daniel's privacy had placed him in an unsettling circumstance. Daniel explicitly expressed his intention to maintain his support for Lily. Devon asked about Heather. Daniel assumed entire responsibility and told Devon not to drag Heather into the situation. Daniel acknowledged he had not yet determined how to handle everything. Devon berated Daniel for the way he was treating Lily. Daniel replied, I detest it, too, but be honest with me. Are you really in any place where you can stand here and pass judgment on me right now? Daniel recalled Devon's involvement with Abby while he'd been with Amanda, adding that one could not always control what the heart dictated. Devon, recalling the hardships Lily had suffered, including losing her parents, surviving cancer, and having been imprisoned, explained that another setback would be too much. Daniel said he was certain his family deserved to be together and resolved never to take Heather and Lucy for granted again. Devon backed down, but he made it obvious he would not lie to Lily if she asked him anything about Daniel. At Daniel's apartment, Lucy asked her mother if she might move in shortly. Heather explained that her relationship with Daniel had to remain under the radar until Daniel had an opportunity to break up with Lily. Lucy, eagerly anticipating making her family whole again, said that at least she and her mother could speak about the most exciting thing in the world. Heather concurred that reuniting their family was exciting and had made her very happy. Feeling apprehensive, Lucy asked her mother about the likelihood of Daniel changing his mind about breaking up with Lily. Heather reassured her daughter, explaining that the look in Daniel's eyes and the love in his voice were genuine. Lucy reluctantly consented to abide by her mother's advice to remain patient and let Daniel proceed his way. As Heather and Lucy were departing to get coffee drinks, a distracted Danny arrived. Heather asked him if he was all right. Danny claimed he was struggling with song lyrics for his new album. Before a concerned Heather closed the door, she halted and watched Danny, who appeared to be lost in thought. Lucy and Heather entered Crimson Lights just as Devon and Daniel concluded their discussion about Lily. Devon greeted Lucy and Heather before he departed. Lucy mentioned to Daniel that Danny had seemed distressed when they had spoken to him before leaving home. Daniel replied that he should check on Danny. Heather sent Lucy to procure the drinks. Heather asked Daniel about the conversation with Devon. Daniel explained that though Devon was concerned about Lily, he understood why things had changed. Heather acknowledged that she hoped Daniel might inform Lily sooner rather than later. Daniel did not respond and told Heather he would see her at his apartment later. Lucy served Heather a frothing coffee drink and said, to being a family again. Heather exhaled and replied, cheers. Phyllis ran into Diane at the athletic club. After awkwardly exchanging pleasantries, Phyllis tossed her hair and proclaimed that others had informed her that she had a special glow. Diane replied that she would love to know more, though she was too occupied running Jabot. Diane announced that she had been promoted to the position of co-CEO, working alongside Jack. Phyllis quipped, when does karma play a part? Phyllis noted that Diane had Jack's ring on her finger and his company under her thumb. Diane explained that she had pulled for Kyle to assume her position, though her son had agreed with Jack that she was the ideal choice. Phyllis, lowering her voice to a whisper, announced that she was delighted to have someone special in her life who cared for her. Phyllis haughtily declared that it was a feeling far preferable to having a husband offer her a pity position. Phyllis stopped by Crimson Lights while Heather and Lucy were sharing a toast with their coffee beverages. 
Phyllis said, what are you two toasting? Lucy replied that she and her parents were happy. Phyllis asked about Daniel. Heather explained that Daniel had gone home to check on Danny. Heather told Phyllis that something seemed to be troubling Danny. Phyllis appeared concerned, presumably aware of what might be the cause of Danny's distress. Daniel returned home and greeted his parents. Daniel told Danny that he had heard his dad was in a bit of a depression. Danny threw up his palms and said, Romance is a pain in the neck. Danny explained that things had been progressing well with Christine until Phyllis had told him how she felt. Danny recalled having rebuffed Phyllis repeatedly. Danny recalled that Phyllis had kissed him and that Christine had seen them kissing. Daniel asked his dad how he could have let such a thing happen, especially knowing the way Phyllis operated. Daniel asked his dad what he intended to do. Danny replied, back away from both of them. If I don't back off, they're not going to back away from each other. Danny explained to Daniel that his love for Christine was distinct from his duty to Phyllis. Daniel insisted that his dad did not owe anything to Phyllis. Danny explained that because Phyllis was attempting to change her life, she deserved his support, plus he deserved a little bit of trust in handling the matter. Daniel replied, that was a very passionate defense of mom. Daniel admitted that he knew how distressing it was to have his world abruptly turned upside down. Daniel admitted that he and Heather had discreetly reconciled, explaining that Lily did not yet know. Daniel sobbed that the thought of lying to and hurting Lily was killing him. Danny encouraged Daniel, assured him that he would find the words. Danny asked for counsel. Daniel replied, buckle up, buttercup. Phyllis rang Daniel's doorbell. When Daniel answered the door, Phyllis suggested they have dinner together. Before Daniel could respond, he stepped out in the hallway to receive a call from Lily. Phyllis smiled at Danny, stroked her finger down the keys of his piano, and asked how his writing was coming along. Danny reminded Phyllis that they had agreed to take a little vacation. Phyllis told Danny that she'd heard that he had emotions for her. Danny replied, as a friend. Phyllis confessed she was a wild card and always said and did what was in her heart. Phyllis told Danny that talking to him and joking with him meant a lot to her, though she acknowledged that she sometimes got carried away. Danny reminded Phyllis about her having posted a video of them on social media and having picked a dispute with Christine. Phyllis sobbed that everything she did was about you and me. Danny proclaimed that there was no you and me. Phyllis admitted having done actions in the past that she regretted. Phyllis pleaded with Danny to give her just one opportunity to give him something he did not even know he needed. Danny calmly replied, this is not going to happen. Daniel stepped back inside and told his parents that Lily was doing well. Danny took up his jacket and walked toward the door. Phyllis called out to Danny, but he said he had to go. After the door closed behind Danny, Daniel glared at Phyllis and asked, Are you happy? Phyllis said that maybe she and Danny were destined to be together, just like Daniel and Heather. Phyllis blamed Christine for interfering with her relationship with Danny. Phyllis insisted Danny would see what Christine was doing. In the hallway, Danny waited for the elevator. When the doors opened, Christine stepped out. When Danny saw Christine, he grinned at her. Jack and Victor entered the empty glass lounge on the outskirts of town. Victor spotted Nikki passed out with her head reclining on a table. Victor exclaimed, Oh, my God! Victor awoke Nikki. After Nikki acknowledged Victor, she saw Jack. Horrified, Nikki, slurring her words, addressed Jack and sobbed, Oh, no! No, no, no! What did you do? What did you bring him here, for? How could you do this to me? Victor explained to Nikki that he was the one who had known she was at the tavern. Nikki broke down in sobs and cried that nothing was all right. Victor struggled to lift Nikki to her feet and assist her walk to the door. Jack grabbed Nikki's purse and the trio exited the establishment.